So a number of people have been calling and asking how to make a mid-plane surface using space claim. I think there are a couple possible reasons for this. One could be that someone's developed an infinitely thin but yet strong material that is going to become all the rage and soon we'll all have iPods made out of them. Either that or mid-plane surfaces are really useful in analysis and some manufacturing processes and uh, it's a useful thing to extract from an imported model. So either way, I'll show you how to do that today. So the first thing we need to do is remove these little rounds. They're just going to get in the way. The basic approach we'll go with is we're going to use these outside faces and offset them in to make the inside ones, but first we want to clean up any extra geometry that we don't really need. So I'll double click to get all the tangent faces and I'll get this set over here and I'll do a quick copy paste to uh, have a separate group of a separate item in here that's a surface of just those faces. By making it a different color we can see it a little bit better. We can see it even better if we turn off the solid. So now we have the, these surfaces uh, but we'll do a little bit more cleanup as well. Where the little pins stick out we'll fill in those holes using the fill command. And also there's we don't really know where to stop here. We need more information from the model so we'll split this face using the split face command with that face and now you can see we have two extra little faces there that we can delete and now we've cleaned that up so this is our outside set of surfaces we want to create a slightly offset version of them uh, how offset do we want to go well half the thickness we'll measure the thickness here it's two and a half millimeters so we can triple click our surface to get the entire thing and now we'll just pull that up to thicken it by a millimeter and a quarter and now those inside surfaces are what we want so to extract them what we'll do is we'll sort of unzip the part by grabbing all the little sliver faces between the inside and the outside and deleting them. Double clicking again for the tangent face sets. Might as well get rid of this one too. And I'll do a little box select to grab a bunch of them at once. It's sometimes easier than selecting individual faces. Another useful trick is to use the selection filter over on the left which I'm not doing right now, but uh, that would just get me faces I wouldn't also get edges. You want to be careful when using box select that you don't accidentally get some extra faces you didn't expect to get. We try and be pretty good about not getting ones behind what you're selecting, but it's always good to visually double check. Also remove these little spanning faces there by the holes, and now we have separated into two pieces we can delete the outside one and now you see we have these lines that show where the surfaces are uh, where the surface is poking through our part and if I swap the transparency and opacity on the models you can also see that we do have a surface that is uh, passing right through the middle of the shell of this part now once you've created a mid-plane surface like this. There are other things you can do with it than just you know, bring into your analysis tool and mesh it. Uh, one thing that a number of people have also asked about is you know, how to split a plastic part into two thinner ones to do an overmold or something like that. And we'll do that here. We need to add a little material because this part didn't really intersect the other part, didn't fully split it. So we'll do a pool blend to create a little extra face here. And now I'm going to double click to get the entire chain of edges all the way around the model. And I'll pull that out a little bit just to make sure that in our offsetting, if these edges went in a little bit, that we were fully extended and passing through the part. There's no need for us to have these holes either since we're going to split it. And now we have this surface that completely passes through the model and we can use combine to chop one with the other 
And now we've split our solid into two solids. Make them opaque again so you can see it. So now we have an inside hard part and an outside overmolded part, or something to that effect. So some techniques you can do by converting solids to surfaces and back, and uh, good luck. Let us know if you have any comments.